Welcome to Perth for the first three mobile test match in what has quickly become a test series with a bit of extra spice. Good morning to you. The South Africans are here and the Australians, boy, having dusted up the West Indians. Good morning to the first time to Richie Benno and Bill Laurie. Thank you, Mark Nicholson. Hello to everybody right around the world. Tremendous tension here at the Wacker. A lot of words have been spoken before this test match is the great Australian care company, Chris. Mm -hmm. Hayden with a wonderful record. And the South African lineup there, Graham Smith, the skipper, and A.B. De Villiers. De Villiers will be opening the batting when uh, the opportunity comes. And Herschel Gibbs is going in at three. Jacques Rudolph, double hundred for him in uh, the, work, uh, the workout matches. So it's going to be the first ball. Buzz around this open stadium. Justin Langer on strike. Good carry through the voucher. Good start. There's in the air as a side that shouldn't be. They're all running for it. Will they get there? They do. That's one for nine. That's a big wicket. Rudolph takes the catch. Went for the pull shot. There's only one man on the outside in front of the wicket. One for nine. Man is square leg. It's gone for it. Got it away. Beautifully played. Two strikes. It's been away again. It's a big one. Lang has been looking at that stroke to almost if the Australians have expected the South Africans to bowl too short. It's a very good 50 from Ricky Ponting. He's got the top edge. Well, I got the sweeper. Mid-off's enough, the captain's got it. Two for 111. 370 odd test wickets. Oh, that's close. It's got to be very close indeed. In fact, Steve Buckner said, yes, it's better than close. You've got it. And then straight to 117. Edge and over the top. Not sure whether Bouch got a hand on it. May just have been a half chance. Here we go, the pull shot up in the air again. And what a brilliant catch. It looked like it was going to fall between the two fields from there. But Longerbelt has got across and taken a terrific catch. Mike has been in good form. He's out for 23. Australia 4 for 1 8. Edge and straight through to Mark Boucher. So this is a very good spell from the Kai and Tenny after T. He's got four for 60 and Hodges out for 41. Australia 5 for 185. It's gone over the uh, bowling region and away for four. Positive shot, that's the important thing. And um, that's the last thing South Africa need is to see the tail wag. Out! Got him! Dropped him! Oh dear, oh dear, that can turn out. Jenny found the edge. Big man, it was a low catch. Yes, well, uh, South Africa know a little bit about dropping catches that are expensive against Australia. He's gone! He's gone! Well, batted by the team. He's got five, taken a second slip. Herschel Gibbs takes the catch. And now the fun starts. Two for 199. Gilchrist has gone for six. It's the end of Simon's bowl by now for 13, and it's 7 for 210. That information really does tell the story of the day. Australia's morning, even afternoon, South Africa's evening. Edge four. And these two, Warren Lee, made 47 apiece. Nathan Bracken made 37. Australia made 435. That's going to be close. And out. Well, I thought I heard a couple of noises. First up, it's 8 for 243. Out. Big edge. May have been an underside edge. And through the keeper. Nell's got two. And Bracken's gone. One for 258. 
And we've last got first ball. Nell will be on the hat trick in the second innings. That's a good piece of bowling from Andre Nell. Australia have been bowled out here today after winning the toss and batting for 258. Well, that's smashed away as well. This is good to see, actually. They're, they're taking quite an aggressive approach here. And that's the way to go. Well, he's, uh, well, that's a good shot. That's flipped away nicely. Downwind as well. Don't worry about chasing that. This is uh, a fantastic start by South Africa. Great shot. Beautifully played. Full base of the bat down the ground for four. Over with a slip send for four. Christian Hart. That's the two slips in the go here. This next one here covers. Vicky Ponty on the back foot a little bit. Down the ground, the outfield it won't pull that one up, I'm sure, neither with the fielder. Great shot. That is a fine stroke. What control in that? That'll be worth watching time and time again. One to 35. Make that 39. On the outside edge. Just been struggling with luck of late. In an Adelaide, I thought the second inning to the grass struggled, didn't pick up the wicket. That's better. That's what he needed to do. So with this time from the ground, he went right through with a cover drive. Superbly played. Justin Kemp. He's gone for his out, straight down the side. So poor again, he had the close grip, and that's a very, very soft dismissal. But a big wicket for Australia. Justin Kemp's got the seven, five now for 167. Ah! Big shout. Says yes. Shane Warren has got it. There it is. 86 test match wickets in the coming year. And it goes past the great Dennis Lilly. Beautifully bowled from Shane Warren. And congratulated as you'd expect from all these two months. 1981, it was last achieved. 2005, it's been it. Yeah. Oh, oh, through. Made no, this time. And never easy. Off the face of the bat. And it's four. So it went very quickly. Oh, desperate for a wicket. Breaks through this one. And, and definitely the wicket of Boucher. And he had a, a chance at four wickets. The South African card is not dissimilar. A couple of 20s, a couple of 30s, and two 60s. All out 296. Normally in Perth, you expect a couple of hundreds. There's the catch up we talked about. Don't be sure if you're going to be wild. Oh, he's got the outside edge. And guess what? He goes to 26. Leading the right watchman down to 32. And gets a white ball. It's past the first one squarely. Over the ball. Two to one out. She played soft hands, gonna run all the way to the fence, Justin Lamb, just holding the ball on its way, probably 
Protection too wide. That's nicely played. Inside edge under the stumps. Vendor's gone for 47. Game on, Richie Benno. And uh, it's 3 for 129. Used to know how many test matches he played that year. That's well played. And probably well placed. There's a full toss and put it away, but he placed it well. And pull up his second 50 of the game. It's certainly swung away. Four for 184, Ponning gone, and 53 against his name. Oh, lovely shot. That's it for the gap, run down the hill. Downwind as well. You really don't have to hit them too long. You find them nicely. Gilchrist on the way in. Well, that's well played. That's a short delivery, and he's pulled that away for the boundary. Well, on this pitch, if you're looking in really short, the batsman knows for sure that it's going to get up, and uh, therefore can play the hook shot with confidence. In the air, and uh, didn't quite get it. Almost four years ago. Oh, there's the first one. There's a man out there. Mel strikes back. And he's enjoying it. He's got that big smile on his face too. Good on him. Australia lead by 406. They're 7 for 444. So there's going to be a 10 minute change of innings should there be a declaration. There it is. Very fine pick up the pads and a very fine innings continues to create milestones for Brad Hodge. Yeah. Now Warren gets a catch up well into the back. Will he get there? No, he can't. The big fella gives up. Oh, that's it. That out. Warren walks across. He stumps and Buckner says, Yes, it is. Camp strikes. He's been going at five and over, but now he's got a wicket. Just by eight for 4.51. Pick a ball. There it is. You're guilty. Wonderful man for Brad Hodge. That's the moment. I suppose we'll be here. 
Hutchinson. Australia 490 ahead. Well, it was hard work for these South Africans. All the batsmen getting a start, apart from Shane Warne. Bracken not out 14, Hodgson out 203. 146.4 overs, 8 for 528. Well, early call, I'm not sure that uh, the Villiers was awake. Then he got through okay. Certainly well placed single. Oh, maybe a glove, races down. The boundary, wait for the call. This runs. Catch! Hey! Oh, He's out! Yes, Vaughan strikes again. Very soft dismissal. A beautiful ball. The thought was there. There's a 10 minute push forward. A single catch of Ben Park. And Vaughan's done it again. The Hodge Warren partnership, 1 for 35. likes to open the blade and go through the covers. Excellent timing. Big shot. And he's given it. As always, takes a long time, so that's uh, each innings in this test match that Bracken has got with a Smith. But Bracken has got through again, 2 for 55. out there speaking to the batsman. Bradley's about to start. Ponting's not happy. Oh, Ponting's uh, getting up a huge fuss. That's the situation. Smith and Deville is out for 30 and 12. Gibbs 17. Rudolph not at 18. That's 2 for 85 after 36. Good start. You must be looking to score runs. In the air, and that's it. Caught at first look. Shane Ward, can you wait for that run? Three for 109. Gibbs gone for 33. Next shot there. Five got throw, unmoved. Is in his favour. On occasion is beaten Andrew Simons. Rare boundary this morning. The South Africa fight for survival. 3 for 120. Ah! No shot played. Once again, our Doc Drove. Not impressed. In one of the great saves in cricket's history. Ah! Well, the magician has done it again. Australia had the pre lunch breakthrough. Got to get away from that area, and he couldn't because Warren was so, so very good. Four for 138. Oh, that looked like the flipper again. And uh, Kemp has picked up four from it. There's only shot one Shane Warne. And there it is, well won't get there he does. That's a fine effort. Very good batting. Under pressure. Character you're building innings this one. Well, so that's still throw them 17 runs behind there. They have six wickets remaining. That's the key to Shane Warne. That's a wrong one. And that's dealt with. Right out of the middle. Bad ball, he smashed it away. Good cricket by Justin Kemp. Over gone, 96 bold. 4 for 2 away. Well, that one from uh, back of the crease a little bit. I must say, it's been a tremendous effort of concentration from Rudolph. It's hit pretty well. He's found the gap. He likes to go through the offside. A lot of players would have been looking to pull that one with the spin. But Kemp likes to go through the offside. Yeah! Yeah! And there's the 
this 50 for Kent. His first test half century. Couldn't come at a better time for him or South Africa. Score for 239. But you're right though, uh, they've, uh, they've got some interesting decisions to make as well. There's been a whole heap of terrific cover drives from Jacques Rudolph. Signature strokes of this innings. Just a sprinkling of spectators as we come to the closing stages of this fascinating test match at the Wacker. Been very good crowd, starting with 18,500 on the first day. And did a great bit of support here for the South Africans too. Eight overs left for them to save the game. Jacques Rudolph on strike. His footwork's been good. Not only has uh, he stood tall on the back foot, but he's had a good stride into the ball on the front foot. That was a fine stroke. Gosh, he was in an excellent position to play the cut stroke. Seven overs. That's what's there for Australia if they're to win. Time left for South Africans to hey! chew on the nails. That's a bad read, but it's safe. Goodness me, Shane Wall can't believe it. Well, where did that ball pitch and what was it going to do? Rocky, this is tight. Well, did it pitch outside leg stump? It's an extraordinary bit of judgment from both umpire and batsman, if we agree it did. <laughs> There's a chance. There it is. What a wonderful innings. One of the best you will ever see under pressure. His fifth test hundred. Magnificent. There's a pair of replied. That's uh, his fourth century outside South Africa. His first against Australia. Very important that is. Seven balls remaining. And in hope that uh, Jack Rudolph will get the knot out. He deserves it. His teammates all sitting and watching what is one of the all time great innings from an opener who started the day. He was not elated overnight. And he's batted all day under enormous pressure from Warren. The ball has been spinning out of the rough. Warren's thrown everything at him. And he survived. She did right, there it is. 102 against Australia. We'll remember it forever. This is the last over to be bowled now. That's one to go. Five for 283. That's on strike. Oh! Spinning bounce for more. He must be terribly tired. Needs 10 wickets in Melbourne to get 100 wickets in the calendar year. He doesn't get another wicket this over. Got to get a wicket every ball now, if uh, they win. Today, Jack Rudolph, Justin Kent, Mark Boucher saved the test match. Oh, 
takes two, and that's good because that is uh, Rudolph at the moment strikers end. He's rest assured that there'll be a few South Africans on the ground uh, to give him a pat on the back. That's Rudolph. Absolutely wonderful performance by him. Jacques Rudolph has played the innings of his life here. Little pitch, it's good to the right. Two more. The last ball of the first test match at the Wacker. It's a drawn test match. Final ball of Shane Warne's 47th over. That's it. So the end of the over, it's 5 for 287. Fantastic. Well, what a wonderful final for this young man and the South African team. Good to see all these strains coming up and shaking the hand, patting him on the back. It's never easy in a test match to bat all day under this pressure is something very special. So that's the situation after 126 overs, 5 for 287. This has been another presentation of Knowledge Wide World of Sports.